All right, here with uh, UCSB men's head coach Tim Von Stieg. To his left, uh, Nemo Phillip. And uh, to his right, uh, William Gillingham. Uh, coach, can you start us off with the opening statement, please? Um, sure. Uh, tough game tonight, but that's what happens when you play in the basically a game where you lose, you go home. Uh, these are all going to be games like this. They're all going to be games decided by one goal. Uh, I. I overall was pleased uh, with the first 20 minutes, 25 minutes of the game, and then I was a little surprised because uh, literally in the middle of that half, they switched to a kind of a 3-6-1 to kind of match what we'd been doing for the first 25 minutes where we got on the ball quite a bit and created some good opportunities. Uh, and then the last 15 minutes of the first half, I thought they kind of, we were a little confused. And um, so we came in at halftime. I thought they'd come back out and do exactly what they finished the half with because it was effective. Uh, but the key for us was in our first half, we moved the ball around. Uh, we connected a lot of passes. I thought we made them run a lot. And I thought we tired them out. Um, so that by the second half, I thought we had, we had control of the game. Um, we're struggling a little bit in the final third. Um, Muntari is a really good player for us uh, throughout the season in a game like this where the other team drops in and he was not available. We obviously lost Lucas in the first half, and those are two players that when the other team drops in, those are the players that you really want on the field. Uh, and so we actually just needed somebody to do something to win this game, and, and we got it. Fortunately, it came before you know, we went to penalty kicks. You know, uh, you had the game winner. Um, talk me through it. Yeah, honestly, I don't even have words for this, not even in German, if I, if I would try to explain it. Uh, I got the ball on top of the box, and. I think we outworked him, as Tim said, and you know, I know I have a good left-footed shot, and I think it was the right moment again, and I just took the shot and it went uh, to the bottom right corner, and I didn't even realize that we won the game, but everybody was celebrating with me, and then I was like, I was like, all right, uh, we're, we're through this game, and um, of course I'm happy, now we have to uh, put the focus right for next week. William, shout out performance by the defense, and talk about the defensive effort today. Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a complete team effort. Um, I thought our midfield was, was really good today, Sam Fletcher especially. Um, controlled the midfield. Um, and then Leroy again had to make a few big saves for us. Um, but yeah, I mean, we, we played the better football tonight, uh, the better soccer, um, and, and we, we got the win. Yeah, Tim, these two people to each side of you had fantastic games, but I also want to talk about Sam because I thought he was just terrific tonight, especially on the defensive end. I was wondering if you could just say a little bit more about Sam and his overall performance. Well, we, we had a little heart to heart here uh, in terms of, um, you know, um, you know, Sam, <clears throat> Sam has the ability if he focuses in on being, he can change the game on his defense. Uh, where we've always struggled a little bit with Sam this year was his idea of changing the game on offense. And I thought that we had a good talk in terms of we win tonight if I can have, in this case, Sam and Jared stay home and, and do what they do and link up on some passes, sure. But more than anything, uh, can you make sure they don't break? Uh, as we know, Davis is a very, very good attacking team when transition. Uh, there are three players up the field, seven, 11, and eight. They, they can get going on you and transition, and that the key was the two central midfielders and our wide players on defense. Uh, we were able to uh, keep them from breaking out on us. Um, like it happened a couple times in the first half, but most of the time we we did it. And then when they when they did cross the ball, unlike a lot of the other games we've had against Davis, uh, we were picked up in the box and we battled for that head ball because you can't keep all the crosses from coming. So in the end, um, Will's right. Um, Sam certainly played great, but I, I think that our, our collective team defending tonight was excellent, um, especially against a team with some dangerous players like that. Yeah, I know for Nemo, so you've got a goal against Davis right now. Going back to the first matchup, you missed a penalty against them. Is, were you thinking about that at all tonight? Uh, no, not really. Uh, I mean, we had a we had good two halves, and I, I just thought the goal was going to come for us. And of course, we're all ready for, for penalties, but Coach, uh, you move on to play uh, UCI. They uh, won their match tonight. Um, can you take, take us through a preview and what kind of uh, challenges that team brings? 
Well, I mean, I think you have a championship game with at least the two teams that finish with the best record in the conference. So it's kind of fitting that, you know, we're playing Irvine. Um, it's also fitting that, you know, it's the one game that, and again, throw out Northridge for a little bit because that was, you know, to me late in the year and, and I thought things were wrapped up. But as we went along, that was the one tie. Um, and we had them with 15 seconds left. And I also feel like that was the game that, I might have woken up our team a little bit more about, you know, so that we would have a performance like tonight. I mean, anytime you give up a lead with 15 seconds left, you know, um, I wasn't very happy about it. Um, but I also feel like, you know, the team responded from that and I thought we did better after that. So again, uh, two best teams playing for the Big West Championship. I think it's great. Um, it should be a really exciting game. And once again, we can predict the fact that it's gonna be one of these games where a goal decides the game. And uh, the good news for us, I feel like if I have a week or the team has a week to get ready to play, I think we can put our best feet forward, right, for both teams. Um, it's always tough when you play teams like we do in a regular season when it's Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday. And, you know, sometimes you don't have your guys, they don't have their guys, and, you know, that kind of conversation. Uh, but we'll be ready to play on Saturday. Will, is this an especially uh, emotional game for you considering what happened two years ago? Oh, for sure. Yeah, I mean, honestly, any game – here on out, it's going to be an emotional game because it's obviously knockout. Uh, we lose, we go home. Um, any game could be my last game for UCSB. Um, but yeah, for sure, it's, a, it's an emotional game. And then we got to make it right uh, next Saturday against uh, Irvine. Thank you guys very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.